Hi, um, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. And today I again wanted to do a video on brain fog in patients who have POTS. And in particular today I wanted to talk about triggers um, which make brain fog worse. Um, so the uh, paper I'm referring to is by Ross et al. Uh, this was pu published in the uh, Clinical Autonomic Research Journal in 2013, okay, in December. Uh, if you come to my Facebook page, I'll uh, I'll put the uh, paper up. So um, basically, these guys are very interested in this subject of brain fog, and what they did was they asked a bunch of people um, who suffer from POTS as to what they felt their trigger was um, for for making their brain fog worse. And the results are interesting, and I thought if I could share them with people who suffer from POTS, then uh, in some ways, they could understand why their brain fog is worse, and if they could try and avoid those things, then perhaps that would not cause as much brain fog. I would say that um, over 95% of my patients with POTS who come to see me, they talk about suffering from brain fog. And in the previous video, I described how they describe, or how people with brain fog describe it. Okay, so by far and away, um, the the biggest trigger for brain fog was fatigue. Okay, so 90% of patients in this particular paper said that when they were fatigued or when they were more fatigued, their brain fog got worse. Uh, equally, um, lack of sleep was another major trigger for making brain fog worse. Um, prolonged standing, so around about 85 to 90%, <coughs> patients said that prolonged standing made their brain fog worse. And dehydration seems to make brain fog worse. Significant numbers said dehydration. Again, about 80, um, 80 to 90 percent of patients said that the dehydr that dehydration seemed to have an impact on their brain fog. Um, also, feeling faint when they were feeling more faint that, that seemed to make brain fog worse. Uh, when they were spending a lot of time concentrating, prolonged concentration seemed to make brain fog worse. Heat seems to make brain fog worse. Uh, some people complained of aerobic exercise and the fact that if they were exercising, that seemed to make their brain fog worse. I have to say that uh, although it may do so initially, as it is a really good idea for people to do aerobic exercise, because once you start doing it on a regular basis after a few weeks, aerobic exercise is extremely helpful in POTS. Um, but in this paper about... 75% of patients said that uh, aerobic exercise made their brain fog worse. Uh, sitting still for too long seems to make brain fog worse. Um, some people talked about walking making their brain fog worse. Noise seems to make brain fog worse. Uh, and then weather changes and also traveling in a car. So those are the commonest triggers uh, for worsening brain fog. Uh, and therefore, it is important for patients who have POTS and who suffer from brain fog to really pay attention to their hydration status, to really pay attention to getting good sleep patterns going. And I've done a bunch of videos on that. And also to avoid prolonged standing, to avoid heat, excessive heat, and to take breaks. You know, taking breaks is an excellent thing. So you're not spending too much time concentrating on one thing. And then taking regular breaks will help with the brain fog. Uh, with all these things, you know, um, if if your brain fog improves, your quality of life improves. If your quality of life improves, it gives you more energy. If your energy, if you have more energy, you can do a bit more. If you do more, your quality of life gets better. So, so those are the kind of things that I would. Um, I think it's important for people who suffer from brain fog just to be aware of. Okay, so um, please consider visiting my Facebook page um, where I'll put other videos out, which may not be available on YouTube. Uh, my Facebook page can be accessed by typing in your cardiology at uh, gmail.com in your Facebook search bar. I'm on Twitter. That's, uh, my Twitter ID is your cardiology. Uh, you can visit my website www.yourcardiology.co.uk and we're hosting a patient day on um, at the end of April uh, on a Saturday, the last Saturday of April. Um, and uh, if you can make it, uh, it'd be great. I think it's on the 28th of April. It's in York. Um, you can come and uh, anyone can come along and um, 
you know you can ask me anything you want and I'd be happy to answer your questions uh, I'll be accompanied with a colleague of mine who is a gastroenterologist and particularly for patients with POTS gastric symptoms are common so he'll be able to help with that um, if you would like to come please come and visit my Facebook page where there are all the details thank you so much all the best and have a great night thank you